Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Well, Windows 11 is finally out. And today, we're gonna install it on some totally unsupported hardware. This ancient Dell Studio 1555. This old thing is nearly a teenager. It's 12 and a half years old and originally shipped with Windows Vista. We're gonna drag it into the modern era and put the recently released full version of Windows 11 on it and see how it goes. To do this on any machine, we need to go to this address up here or Google Windows 11 download tool and that'll take you to the page. Here, there are three different options for getting Windows 11. If you're upgrading the PC that you're on and it meets the criteria, you can use the installation assistant. The next best way is the media creation tool. It downloads the required files and creates a proper bootable USB drive or ISO image that you can put into any UEFI PC, boot it up and try the install. The third way, and the way we're actually going to use, is just a straight download of the ISO file. It takes a while to download the full five gig file, but then it's done and we can do with it what we need to. I use a utility called Rufus, R-U-F-U-S, that will take an ISO image and create a bootable USB out of it. I created one USB with a GPT partition and a UEFI boot and another with an MBR partition and BIOS boot files. I thought I'd try the UEFI one first, but as expected, it simply won't boot because the machine doesn't have a UEFI BIOS. So I put in the MBR BIOS version and then pressed F12 at the startup screen to select my boot media. I selected the USB drive and then pressed any key to boot from there. The machine boots to the installer, but once you get past all of the selection and fluff, you hit a screen where it says, you can't install on this PC. Very much expected, it does not go anywhere near meeting the system requirements. It has no TPM, the CPU isn't supported, it doesn't have secure boot, it doesn't have UEFI, it, there's so many things wrong, but we're gonna press on. And by press on, I mean go back, back to the initial screen that we booted to. From here, you can press Shift and F10 to bring up a command prompt. At the command prompt, type regedit to open the registry editor. Scroll down to HKey Local Machine, System, Setup, and right click to create a new registry key called Lab Config. Then in that keyword, right click to create a new 32-bit D word called Bypass TPM Check and set it to one. Then create another 32-bit D word and call it Bypass Secure Boot Check and set it to one. All of the details for this are in the description below. Once you have those two keys both set to one, you can close regedit and close the command prompt. Now the Windows installer will work normally. We can't do an upgrade because we booted from media. To do that, you would have to insert the drive while Windows was running and run the upgrade from there. But you can do a custom install. I went through and wiped all of the petitions to delete what was on the machine already because I didn't care about it. I then set it to install in the blank space and hit go. It took around about seven minutes to copy all of the files it needed and then reboot the machine. Now the machine was in the standard setup. We went through and selected the country, the type of keyboard, joined the machine to the Wi-Fi and started to install updates. Next we named the computer and then it restarted. Here we sign into a Microsoft account and create a pin. Here we've got the option to restore from another Windows 11 PC or set up as a new device. I did have a moment of panic at this point as the screen went black and flickered, but I realized after a few seconds that it was actually just installing the graphics driver. And now the window is actually the right proportion properly. So I set it up as a new device. I left all of the standard Windows privacy settings as they are. And I selected some ways that I might want to use this device. No, I don't want to back up to OneDrive. No, I don't want Office 365. No, I don't want an Xbox Game Pass. Okay, it's time for more updates. And then we go into the first login process. This is much prettier than it was in Windows 10. And because it's moving, it helps you to know that the machine hasn't crashed, which I have had an issue with at times in the past. So here we are in Windows 11, in a system so not designed for it, and as I said, made in 2009. It has a Core 2 Duo, four gig of RAM, 
and originally shipped with Windows Vista. It works happily, it gets Windows updates, and even found driver updates for some of the card readers. And here it is, ready to use. It's not the fastest machine on the planet, but who would expect that? It does work, and it's usable. Question of the day. Do you have an old machine you might want to try Windows 11 on? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.